Welcome back everyone. Moving on with rational exponents, we have to take each of these expressions here, convert them to exponential form, and then we have to evaluate them. So in the overview video, video beforehand, I mentioned there's two formats. There's the radical expression format, which is like this, then there's the exponential form. So we got to convert these to exponential form. And the biggest takeaway from the overview video, if you remember, is if you have the x to the root of something, we can rewrite that as a to the power of 1 over x. So this is the radical form. That is the exponential form. So using that here, we got the third root of a, uh, 8 rather to the power of 4. So we can rewrite this using that law there. So this 8 to the power of 4 is like this whole a value. So that would be 8 to the power of 4. Let's put that in brackets. And since this is the third root, this would be to the power of 1 over 3, like that. And then notice we can multiply those exponents. So this we can rewrite as 8 to the power of 4 over 3, like that. So this and this are the same. This is the simplified exponential form of this radical expression, right? So again, eight to the power of four, put in brackets, third root, convert to an exponent of one over three, and then you could just multiply the exponents. Four, it's like four over one times one over three, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, you get four over three. Now we also have to evaluate this. So. Um, let me actually just write here 8 to the power of 4 over 3, and then we'll write the answer. So when I get something like this, uh, a number to the power of a fraction, I like to split the fraction up like this, but I like to do the opposite. So I like to rewrite this as 8 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 4. So I take that numerator and I put it on the outside. And then one over the denominator I keep on the inside. Notice here the numerator was in the inside and the denominator was on the outside. So sometimes that's gonna happen depending on how the format that um, the radical expression is given. And you'll see in number two, the opposite is gonna happen. Like this is gonna end up being one over five inside the bracket and then the power two is gonna be outside the bracket. But because this is written in a different format, you end up getting um, that denominator on the outside initially. But when I'm solving, if I get something like this, I always put the denominator part inside and then the numerator part outside, right? So basically four over three, I split up to one over three uh, times four, right? With the numerator on the outside because I just feel like it's easier to take the third root of eight, which we know is two, and then take that to the power of four, which is just 16, right? Versus taking eight to the power of four, right? You gotta use your calculator then because it's gonna be a big number. Then you gotta take that big number to the power of one over three. You'll still get 16, still got the same answer. You're just dealing with bigger numbers. I'd rather take the smaller number and then just take that to the power of the numerator. But either way works, really doesn't matter. So um, the answer is 16, that's what it evaluates to. So that is the exponential form, answer is 16. Another thing I wanna mention is um, rewriting this, the third root of eight to the power of four, that is the same thing as the third root of eight to the power of four, like that. This and that are the same thing. So again, this converts to that, which converts to this. This here would convert to that, right? Just the exponents are switched, like I mentioned before. But when you multiply them, you still end up getting the same. So this and that can be the same thing. They both uh, give the same answer. Answer is 16. All right, moving on to number 
2, we got the fifth root of negative 243. This is a big 5, so it's not 5 times that, it's the fifth root. And this is going to be squared. So I'm going to take the inside brackets, so negative 243 um, to the power of 1 over 5, right? The fifth root of something using this law change it to exponential form, but then that whole thing is to the power of two, like that, right? So um, now you can multiply these exponents. So one over five times two over one, that just gives us negative two over, uh, 243 to the power of two over five. So that there is the exponential form of that radical expression, so this, we can rewrite as negative 243 to the power of 2 over 5. Now to evaluate this, like I did in the first example, I just split this up here. So I'm actually going to go back to this step because it's already in that format that I like. So again, I take the denominator, uh, put it here, 1 over the denominator, and then take the numerator outside. Right. So if I'm evaluating, I'm just going from this step. So fifth root of negative 243, that gives us negative 3. And then this is going to be to the power of 2, which gives us 9. So answer to number 2, this is the exponential format. And this evaluates to 9. Right? And again, you could check your answer in your calculator. If you plug all of this into your calculator and plug all of this into your calculator, both expressions should give you 9. Okay, number 3. We got the fourth root of 81 to the power, um, sorry, 81 over 16. So to convert that to exponential form, basically that whole base to the power of 1 over 4. So that is the... Um, exponential form for that radical expression. And then from here, you have to use exponent laws. Remember, a um, fraction to the power of something, you got to distribute that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. Now, whether you're working with whole exponents, like 2, 3, 4, or rational exponents, the same laws apply. So Basically, this would be 81 to the power of 1 over 4 over 16 to the power of 1 over 4. 81 to the power of 1 over 4, the fourth root of 81, that's equal to 3. Fourth root of 16 is 2. So the answer to this is 3 over 2. So you should get 3 over 2 in your calculator or 1.5. Another way to write this, if you want to keep everything in uh, radical form, is uh, distributing that square root, that fourth root to the numerator and denominator. So the fourth root of 81 over the fourth root of 16. Right, fourth root of 81, three, fourth root of 16, two. Right, but we're not doing it that way. We're converting to exponential form and then using that exponent to get that three over two. And then finally, um, Number six, we got the sixth root of uh, 729 over 64 to the power of negative 1. Now, if I was doing this question and I was asked to just evaluate it, right away I would just flip that fraction because there's that negative exponent attached to it. So I'd flip it over, 64 over 729, and then take that to the power of positive 1. But because we're converting to exponential form first, I'm going to just keep that negative 1 there for now. And then this whole thing is going to be to the power of 1 over 6, right? Sixth root of something, right? Sixth root of a would be one o, uh, a to the power of 1 over 6. So that whole thing to the power of 1 over 6. You can multiply those exponents. So this would be 729 over 64 to the power of negative 1 over 6, like that. Negative 1 times 1 over 6 is negative 1 over 6. And then from here, 
same exponent laws apply that we dealt with before. If you have a fraction to a negative exponent, flip the fraction. So we got 64 over um, 729 to the power of 1 over 6. Uh, and then distribute that exponent, 64 to the power of 1 over 6, and then 729 to the power of 1 over 6. Um, 64 to the power of 1 over 6, 6th root of 64 is 2. 729 to the power of 1 over 6 is 3. So answer to this is 2 over 3. So the exponential form is this here. So 729 over 64 to the power of negative 1 over 6. And then the final answer when we evaluate is 2 over 3. Again, you could check these in your calculator. Make sure you're getting the same answer.